Hi guys, Nikki's here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. And first, I do want to apologize for the video that I made yesterday because I was in such a bad mood and I was just feeling so sad. And I feel like I was, was ranting a lot, but I, I kind of needed it. So thank you so much for putting up with that and listen to me ranting. But I know you guys are there for me. So still, I want to apologize for it just because it was not like a fun and uplifting videos and not, my channel is not about that you know i never want to like bring you guys down or just posting something that is not very positive but i i guess i just need it to get it out of my chest so yeah so today i'm feeling much better and yeah and i just got home i'm uh, getting really hungry on the drive home so i picked up this noodle actually my husband picked me up this noodle i've been craving this spicy noodle for such a long time it's spicy so i do not recommend any of you eating this because i know you are still experiencing like gerd symptoms and your gerd is still flaring up so do not get this or just don't touch anything spicy okay and, and i'm sorry that i'm showing you this but um i just wanted to you know share with you whatever i'm doing so i'm going to eat this um and i might get you know some heartburn i don't know but i have that slippery m that's been working really well for whenever i have some irritation and inflammation so i might take that but uh we'll see i'll keep you guys updated but this is so good uh a little bit spicy definitely not good for good but i've gotten much better these days that i can handle these things and the worst is that i just have to take either the aloe vera gel or just the uh, a slippery m and also i'm eating it with my sauerkraut you can see well this is the homemade sauerkraut i made this myself um it was super easy i mean the first batch like failed because i didn't put enough salt so it got really like soggy but this one is so good it's like perfect and you can keep it for up to like a month in the fridge and just hear the crunch I don't know if you can hear the crunch. So crunchy and so good. And this is packed with probiotics, like natural probiotics. So if you can, so if you can make it yourself, it's much better. Um, usually I just make a big batch and it lasts me for like a couple of months. And much better alternatives to like yogurt because if some people, I know there are some people just cannot tolerate like dairy. And I had this problem in the past too, so this is good alternative to like, you know, like dairy products. It's great, delicious, it's crunchy, it's sour, but it doesn't irritate your stomach and it's a great addition to um, add on like healthy probiotics into your GI tract. Mm. So good. Sour. <laughs> so... I just want to come today and, you know, first apologize for the, you know, mopey video that I posted yesterday. But um, I just want to mention a couple of points that even though, yes, I kind of lost hope and I was scared, I was angry. I got really emo that that night, like when I got, um, got home from work, that first day of work. And then I like got migraine and GERD came back. And I just got really emo. Like, I just went to really dark places i was like i just want to give up i just want to go somewhere where i don't know anybody nobody can find me and you know it's just really really like dark places <laughs> but at the end of the day to be honest i still need to be very thankful for everything that that i have and that's given to me for example even though yes it's a struggle that I have to deal with migraines and GERD. I'm much better with GERD now. And uh, even though migraine is still bad and I can't control it, it controls my life, which is like the suckest part of all of this because I can't control it. I can't do anything at all to control it. It controls my life. But at the end of the day, I still, I still try to remember that I have family that loves me, you know, my parents, my husband, my parents-in-law, everybody and friends they're supporting me and you guys you understand me and you're there for me and i'm lucky i'm lucky that i have all of you 
you know, supporting me and be there for me emotionally and physically. Like, there's a lot of time these days that I get really sick and, you know, my brother took me to the hospital last week and, you know, my husband was always there picking me food, picking up food for me or just there for whatever I need. And just that love and support helps a lot. Um, and then, of course, I still think about, like, there's always people out there who have it worse, you know, so I can't compare my little migraine things to other more serious diseases even though it is a very like chronic even though yes it is a chronic disease and i live with pain like i i'm living in pain every single day but i guess it's not the worst because it won't kill me my pain won't kill me it's just decreasing my quality of life but I won't die <laughs> even though sometimes I just want to like kill myself when it's like it hurts too much but yes I, I should be thankful for everything that I have and I should be thankful that you know my husband is understanding enough to support me through this and I'm lucky that he has a good job that can support both of us so that I can just take time off you know I don't have to work and just focus on getting better and even though I don't know what to do with migraines to get better though because I, I'm every day I'm doing everything that I can you know avoid food trigger avoid this and that you know make sure that I rest well make sure that I don't stress so that it doesn't happen but sometimes it still happens like you know yesterday there was a, a storm passed by so you know I, I woke up with a headache thankfully it wasn't like a migraine but uh, I took some Tylenol and it went away so things like the weather I can't control at all so it, it will happen um hopefully you know at some point it will be not as severe as so I can just take some you know regular painkiller and it will go away but for now um it's a part of my life and just have to deal with it and just have to learn how to live with it just like how I learned to live with GERD and actually at least GERD is something that we can control like you can take a medication even at your worst, like seriously, if you just take that PPI once every day, you're fine, you know, you can control it. You can at least have a hand in like controlling your life by like eating better, by taking these medication or the worst, maybe you might have to have surgery, but it it is much easier to control than like migraines and some other diseases. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and uh, I don't want you to know that, you know, I'm not usually like who I was yesterday, you know, super like depressed and sad and mopey. No, I, I, it, all of my illnesses have gave me a lot of strength. Um, I've definitely gotten much stronger. Like if I'm able to do everything that I can right now, dealing with pain every day, then I'm a stronger person, right? So I'm not like bitter towards it. I mean, I am, but there's nothing I can do. So stressing about it is not gonna help anything. So I'm just going to move forward. Um, definitely not giving up. I, I know sometimes I feel like I want to just give up, but I can't. The fact that, you know, what are you gonna do? There's so much to live for in life, even though, you know, it sucks that I have to deal with this on a daily basis that I have to pretty much wake up with pain every single day but doesn't mean that it's not worth living because I have to you know keep pushing forward for my family my husband you guys for everyone um, giving up is like the most stupid decisions you know that anyone can do so I want you guys to do the same take care of yourself if there's something you can do do it uh, I'm sure there will be time that you'll get frustrated and you know just want to give up but don't give up that's the worst thing that you can do for yourself because there's always hope so yeah thank you guys thanks for checking in thanks for watching um i know that i haven't done any fun videos but i've been dealing a lot with these um health issues uh, mainly migraines and uh, definitely i know that this is a very common feeling as well for you guys that when you start to get GERD or some of the health issues after a while you will feel like you're losing yourself you're not yourself any anymore because like these diseases they alter your uh, like daily habits right like now for example i really have to watch out like what i eat what time i eat like making sure i'm not stressed so because i don't want to you know trigger girdle or, or, um, or migraine so i used to not be like this you know i used to be like carefree i just I did whatever I wanted to and 
definitely it changed me um sometimes i get really sad because i feel like i'm not the person who i used to be anymore but inside i'm still the same person it's just that certain factors like you know uh, my illnesses just prevents me to be who i am 100 percent and it sucks but um one day you know like that person is still inside and um you know one day all this darkness will go away and i hope that she will come back and i can't wait for my husband to see her again as well because uh when we met like i was a very fun outgoing energetic person but because of my illnesses i i can't do that anymore i can't even make plans because i never know if i will be waking up okay that day or not so it's really frustrating and I'm sure you understand that when you have to alter your plans based on how your body is gonna react that day so um, but it's fine I don't want to talk about this anymore it's, it's negative just know that things will get better you know whatever's happening to you God maybe let that happen for a reason that you know so that it will build you to be a stronger person and at the end I'm sure we'll be okay and that's it okay so i'm gonna go and uh, eat my lunch and um, i'll see you next time take care my friends and just be stress-free and be happy and think positively okay bye